Hey everyone, it's Cream Manga or Kristen, and today we're just gonna draw together from the great Prius Emotep. I really like volume one, but anyway, we're gonna just talk about female archetypes in manga, shonen, or anime. Uh, you know, shonen, anime, manga, all that stuff. But the archetypes that I don't necessarily enjoy, maybe we'll do like an enjoy video later, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. And yeah, let's get started on that. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Webtoon, Voice Me, all those places. Read my webcomic. Thank you guys so much. And let's get to the video. Hi, everyone. And we're back. I think I'm going to do, yeah, just pen sketching today and talking about manga. That's all we do here. That's all we need to do here. <laughs> but yeah, today I'll be drawing from the great Priest Emotep. I only read volume one but it's a pretty it's a pretty good read i like it but um we'll be drawing from that today doing some pen sketching if you want to see me talk about that go to my pen sketching video but today i want to talk about girls in manga or at least the stereotypes or archetypes <laughs> of some girls and specifically shonen because there are a lot that i genuinely dislike <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll be going over those and a couple I just, um, don't like at all. But it's just my taste, guys. So don't, don't be like, <laughs> oh, but I like those characters, so uh, I can't like you anymore. Like, no. Like, we cool. I'm just gonna talk about characters that I don't, type, like, archetypes that I don't really enjoy and I wouldn't write, but doesn't mean you can't enjoy them. So yeah, let's just get into this. <laughs> We'll start with our list, but first let me show you guys the reference I'm gonna use um, for a couple pen sketches we are gonna do today. Uh, next I'm gonna draw uh, this panel, just doing some studies, maybe this one too, and then maybe a full body, but we'll see what we get to. Okay guys, let's do this. <laughs> let's get started. Archetype number one. <laughs> Okay, I, I honestly, I see this so much, but it's the, the, all I can do is yell at the MC girl. <laughs> Man, there's so, almost, there's so many shonen manga that I read that have this type of character. Uh, it's literally <laughs> the, like, the archetype that I find probably most annoying but some of these characters like are part of their character uh, girls and i they're i still enjoy the characters but sometimes they just yell so much but and when it's like when it's like all they are like when when the female character is just only yells at the main character all the time and sometimes they don't start out this way but some characters like devolve into this <laughs> devolving characters but and i'm like ah can you just like not yell all the time it's just it gets on my nerves and <laughs> kind of hurts my ears sometimes depends on the character um if we're gonna give go into examples i think i really liked you if you guys seen black clover um i really like um talking about the anime for this one i really liked Le noel but later on, Noelle, like, you, you know, she just ends up yelling all the time and um, really <laughs> just just yelling at the main character because she likes him. Hashtag Tsundere. <laughs> Tsundere. Like, <laughs> just because she likes him, she has to yell at him all the time. And I feel like, why? You don't need to yell at uh, the MC, like, all the time. I don't know why, like, all the girls do that in a lot of shonen that i see uh watch and read but it's just it's just a thing <laughs> i don't know why um personally i wouldn't want to write a character like that but i mean that's just what i see another example would probably be Havakata from the great Curious emota and she's i really like some parts of her character it's this girl and she's really adorable she kind of looks like winry too but um she's she's really cute and stuff but and then some of her character i really like but she yells at the um 
at this guy so much and i'm like oh my god like just, uh is that all there is there's not in this book that's why i, I kind of like her but when she, it's just so much yelling i'm i, I just get like oh i don't want like all these girl characters that are usually like heroines to just always yell at the MC. It's like a weird like I don't even know like momish <laughs> type character. And I'm like, why do all the girls gotta act like moms when they're all like, you know, teenagers and should be cool too. <laughs> but that's whatever. Oh, and Chi Chi from Dragon Ball guys. Chi Chi, she was really cool. I mean she was always this type of character. But um, she at least and in the recent stuff, she became all yell, all yell, especially in Super, Chi Chi from Dragon, the Dragon Ball series. Which I mean, she is literally mom, so she's that type of character. But oh, I used to like her, but not anymore. She's definitely not one of my favorites <laughs> because she just yells so much, and like, why? Why do you have to yell so much? <laughs> but some of these characters I listed, like, like oh, also like Ariana Nakari, um, and there's there's more, like, more female characters that just do this all the time. And I love some of these characters. Uh, and Winry too, like, I love Winry from Full Metal, but she yells, like, because she cares about um, the Elwark brothers. Um, but like, sometimes it's just too much. <laughs> but some parts of their characters I absolutely love. Like I still love the characters I listed, but sometimes, oh, gets on my nerves. Okay, number two guys, numero dos. <laughs> this stereotype is, um, I also hate this one <laughs> because it, it also appears a lot. Um, I can't like remember all the manga and anime I've seen it in, but it's the I'm in love with the main character, but he probably likes that other girl who has bigger boobs than me. <laughs> Why do girls when they're in the, their little girl groups and like um in uh shonen? Why do they always have to talk about boobs? <laughs> like girl guys, like girls don't always talk about that. <laughs> Um, maybe like sometimes, but <laughs> why is it always, that always has to come up in a group of girls, like, in Shonen, and if they, they, and when the girl, like, likes someone, but they look at another girl, and they're like, wow, he'd probably like her more because of her boobs, and like, why? <laughs> at least, if it's over, it's overdone, too, so like, ugh. I, I couldn't imagine doing that like in my own work again because it's just an overdone stereotype that just bothers me because that's not all that girls talk about and if that's like the only thing uh, a female character in a series can talk about then I'm not gonna enjoy that character <laughs> personally I want uh I want to like follow like a character that's a little more than just I like the MC I have small boobs, so he won't like me. Like, <laughs> why are you self-conscious about that? <laughs> Aren't you more self-conscious about your crap personality? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, that, uh, somehow that always happens. And it's <laughs> the conversation always has to come to that sometimes. And I'm like, dude, why does it always have to be this way? It just gets on my nerves sometimes. Um... But yeah, it's just the female characters that, um, I don't know what y'all want to write, but if your girl characters are always talking about boobs, that <laughs> is not representative of real girls. <laughs> but like, whatever. Um, uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, ultimate simp girl. <laughs> Why do I name these archetypes <laughs> like this? I just made them up when I was writing my script. But um, ultimate simp girl, guys. That's a girl. <laughs> okay, really all I have to say about this one is one person. And that's Ichigo from Darling in the Franks. Anyone else 
hate this character with a passion like she's so she's so selfish and <laughs> She just loves Hiro for no reason, even though he's the worst character and darling in the friend. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people that might disagree with me on that, but man, I hate them both. <laughs> Ichigo sucks. She just is a sucky person. I just don't know why she, <laughs> she acts the way she acts. It makes no sense. Um... But yeah, that's just Darling the Franks. That's the pretty much paradigm model of ultimate ultimate MC simp. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, but honestly, I hated Hito too. He sucked. <laughs> Let's move on. Next stereotype babies. Okay, wait. First, let's finish this drawing and let's go on to the next pen sketch. This is just fun talking about female characters I just don't enjoy. I mean, there's a lot I do enjoy though. We can do another video about like the awesome girl characters with like multiple like parts of their personality. Like, and this can also be um, done with guys too. I'm just talking about girls for this one. Since I, like, I don't know, I'm a girl and I... <laughs> and I'm just like, why do they act like this in, in manga sometimes? So I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs> But um, let's get to the the number four. <laughs> this guy, this one, y'all probably heard because it was like a huge meme. But um, <laughs> let's okay. Next, I'll be drawing this panel in pen. So let's do that. <laughs> number four, babies. Uh, the my voice is so high your ears will shatter <laughs> but i'm supposed to be cute anyway girl <laughs> this is um this is anime only because anime has has voice acting <laughs> but why are so many girls in um in in anime like so high pitched to the point that y y your ears want to die i don't understand this can can we <laughs> I I understand that um like I'm from the from the US but uh uh girls in Japan are supposed to be you know uh or just have like higher pitched voices which is cool but I feel like anime takes us like a, to a whole nother level have you guys uh <laughs> have you guys um heard Elizabeth from um <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins like she's the most annoying character of <laughs> I have um I watched in a while when I watched Seven Deadly Sins. Her voice is something else and everyone makes fun of it. Everyone makes fun of it because it's just so high. But there's a lot of characters that have extremely high pitched voices. And I'm like, man, this just hurts. Like I'm sorry, but I, I can't listen to you anymore. <laughs> your <laughs> voice. Why is your voice like this? <laughs> Every time I ask that, pretty much, when I <laughs> hear um, some girl. Like, there's always one girl in every shonen that just, like, has the worst voice. And I'm like, why? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And there's, um, let's talk about one more. So, one more is the uh, number five. Last one for today, the um, the I'm so badass, but that's all I can be because I have zero personality, girl. <laughs> just just the badass stereotype, like Mariliona Vermillion from um from Black Clover. Like she's cool. Like I like her, but I really would want to see her in like a different light. Like she's not always just, you know badass all the time 100 percent, and always have to be saying like these cool quotes like i want to see her like be more you know relatable <laughs> um you know what uh i think darling in the franks does a really good job of characters even though some are just complete crap but they're like good crap characters like they like there are people that act like the characters in darling in the franks 
<laughs> even if you don't enjoy them. I think Darling in the Franks work with characters is just so, so good. So good. It's just, um, well, anyway, I was going to talk about Black Clover. So, Marilonia, she's just, like, too, a bit too badass. Like, that's her entire personality. And it's not like I don't like those stereotypes. It's just that, like, these stereotypes, when that's all they are, like, when that's all the female character is, is just one thing and they have zero, you know, other personality. It's like, man, can there be, like, more to this girl? Or is she just going to yell? <laughs> Or is she just gonna talk about boobs? Or is she just gonna be a major simp? Or is she just gonna have an annoying voice? Like, is there more? <laughs> I also, there's also one thing that I hate. <laughs> oh, guys, don't take this too seriously. I'm just talking like what I, what I um, feel like. But um, <laughs> there's also this like, there's these moments when with the badass female characters and stuff. And they like, they're like super cool and everyone like thinks they're really cool in the battlefield and they're all masked up and everything. And then they take off their mask and then every guy in the show has to simp on them for some reason, like has to just automatically fall in love and just be like, oh my gosh, she's just so cute. And now that she's a girl, I can't fight her. Cause like, <laughs> why does this always happen? Like, can't she just be cool? <laughs> Or like, it's just a cool character. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh. But I mean, it's fine, but does it, can it just be like one guy? Like maybe the MC can like her, but do like all the guys have to just like go crazy just because she's a girl? I mean, oh, it just gets on my nerves just a bit, but it doesn't mean I can't like these characters. These characters can still be super cool. But it's some of these stereotypes, I'm just like, eh, I've seen these so many times, you know? Don't want to see them again, <laughs> especially when they bother me. You, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, that's basically my five for now. And um, there's a, I'll give you guys some examples of female characters I do like, because like... They, they're just characters with multiple parts of their personalities. This is not from a manga, it's from a webtoon called Purple Hyacinth, but I think Lauren and Kim are just beautiful characters. Like, they're just so... They are honestly just real people. <laughs> and um, I love characters that can just seem like real people. That's like... Why is that so hard to, I feel like, to get? <laughs> with some uh some female characters i don't know they just seem like and they're cool too and they're like they're just cool girl characters that <laughs> aren't in love with everyone they with the with the main character or they are the main character and it's just like whoa you're just sick and i'm here for your story <laughs> whether you like the guy another guy in the in the story or not i'm here for you girl you got this go do your fights and battles and i'm gonna read the entire thing <laughs> not that the other things are bad it's just i see it like so much and um well don't take what i say too seriously it's just me talking about you know my manga preferences you can think a totally different way i don't care it's just you <laughs> you do you <laughs> but it's like these are just the archetype like these little character traits that personally i don't enjoy and i mean that's fine <laughs> because like man i just want to write like cool girl characters uh with just multiple parts of their personality than just like just one thing going for them or not even going for them <laughs> one thing that makes them annoying <laughs> But, um, whatever. I hope you guys liked the video. I'm gonna do this rest of this in time lapse, and then we'll see you at the end. Peace.
that's it. I did my studies of Emotep. Thanks for staying and me talking about random <laughs> character personalities. Don't take it too seriously. I'm just talking random stuff. <laughs> but here I'm gonna like, uh, show you guys what I drew. Um, this one is from near the end of Great Primus Era Emotep. Just a couple studies. We drew, we drew this baby. And we drew another face right here. I um, don't know if I can find it. <laughs> yeah, I found it. Okay. And then and then this baby. So um, really fun stuff. Simple character. Um, simple characters today, just to make it easy. Uh, thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Please check me out on Instagram, TikTok, Webtoon. Take um. Uh, check out me on Voice Me with Liars Open Fire. I hope you guys liked the new episode that came out today. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm still keeping this. Bye, guys. <laughs>